Welcome to First Baptist Church. I'm Julian Green, historian for First Baptist Church, Petersburg, Virginia. First Baptist is the oldest African-American continued worshiping institution in North America. During the Nat Turner insurrection, the church was the only institution where free blacks and slaves could gather together for worship. Nat Turner preached here at First Baptist. The General Assembly in Virginia said that for the gathering of blacks in any setting, there must be a white overseer there. The pastors of those church had to deliver to the overseer their sermon before it was being delivered. However, the craftiness of the ministers, they began to talk in codes to let them know there were abolitionists coming in to take them to freedom. During the Civil War, the white supremacists came and really destroyed First Baptist by burning it down. The white community had such a favorable feeling of the presence of First Baptist, they decided to raise some funds to help rebuild the church. And in rebuilding, it was the black craftsmen that built the church. There's not one single nail that hold this edifice together. It's all wood pegs. The structure of this sanctuary really is a bound in historic uh, artifacts. The doors coming into the sanctuary are the original doors. The wrought iron railings around the church are the original wrought iron railings. The organ, the pipes, leads from the first floor down into the basement. That instrument was played by so many renowned organists and musicians. Music then said to the worshipers that they could pour out their soul, their depressed state, their cry and their liberation in music. It was illegal to teach blacks to read or write. But First Baptist carried the largest school here in the setting of First Baptist Church. Thus came the birth of Peabody. Peabody School was the first school for blacks in Virginia and also in the South. This is the first of the civil rights movement because everything else came out of what happened here in Petersburg. That's what repeatedly brought Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. back to Petersburg because he saw nonviolence, passive resistance taking place in Petersburg. When Dr. King spoke at First Baptist in 1959, the message of that time was to be able to talk about the Poor People's March and to let them know that we had to continue the fight uh, for voting rights. It is so important that the young people today understand the history of First Baptist Church and to be able to have a, an institution still here today that symbolizes what happened in yesteryear uh, because those are the shoulders that our young people stand on today to be able to move forward. 